In the United States, the Biden administration is stepping in to contain the fallout from the sudden collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. Authorities say customers will have access to all of their money starting Monday morning. The president also promised to hold those responsible for the bank's failure fully accountable. Arlette Signs has more. The Biden administration took extraordinary steps Sunday to ensure that all depositors working with Silicon Valley Bank would be made whole, guaranteeing they would have access to their money starting on Monday. The announcement came in a joint statement between the Treasury Department, FDIC and Federal Reserve, where they also revealed the closure of a second bank, Signature Bank, which is based in New York. Officials said that the same protections being offered to depositors with Silicon Valley Bank would also be extended to that bank as well. It came at a time where there were many questions for depositors about whether they would have access to their money. The FDIC only previously insured up to $250,000 being held at the bank, and the majority of customers had more money than that uh, in their accounts. Ultimately, this move will ensure that all depositors will be able to access their money at a time when there were questions about how people would run their businesses and also how they would meet payroll heading into this week. Now, federal officials worked around the clock over the weekend trying to find some resolution to the sudden collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. One avenue that was also being pursued was trying to find a private buyer to purchase the assets of Silicon Valley Bank. Treasury officials uh, said that they were evaluating those bids but ultimately decided to move quickly as they were watching this situation quickly unfold and they wanted to offer some assurances to those customers who had been working with Silicon Valley Bank. Now Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said earlier on Sunday that there would no there would not be a wide scale large bailout of the bank uh, similar to what was seen during the 2008 financial crisis. Treasury officials pushed back on the idea that this was a bailout, saying that it, uh, the burden will not be borne by the taxpayers and also noting that shareholders and senior management would not be protected uh, by these new rules. Now, ultimately, uh, the White House and the Biden administration has tried to stress that they believe the, that the banking system in this country is resilient in part due to those reforms put in place after the 2008 financial crisis. President Biden told reporters as he was traveling back from Delaware on Sunday that he would talk about this issue on Monday morning as his White House is trying to ensure that there are not more stresses put on the U.S. banking system and the U.S. economy writ large.